The Ministry of Defense is set to release the next positive indigenization list, further expanding the range of weapons platforms and subsystems that will be progressively barred from import. India has commenced groundwork for a new dual-use airport in Great Nicobar Island, with an estimated investment of $950 million. The DRDO has started preparations for the upcoming trial of the Pinaka Mark III rocket system with an extended range of 120 km. All preliminary activities are nearing completion, and the trials are expected to begin shortly. The Indian Navy will commission its second damage 60 r Seahawk helicopter squadron on 17 December at INS Hansa. The Indian Army is set to receive the second and final batch of three Apache attack helicopters from the United States this week, after their delivery was earlier disrupted when the cargo aircraft carrying them was forced to return to the US following Turkey's denial of overflight clearance. The RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment has initiated the development of a fully indigenous 12.7 by 99mm aviation machine gun and gun pod for Indian Navy and Coast Guard platforms. The Indian Navy is also exploring the operation of a maritime variant of the Prachand Light Combat Helicopter from upcoming landing platform docks, adding indigenous close air support and reconnaissance capability. Recent images confirm that Tejas Limited Series production aircraft is flying with the RDO's advanced self-protection jammer pod. Successful completion of these tests will clear the jammer pod for induction on the Tejas Mark 1A, significantly enhancing its electronic warfare survivability. India and Russia are moving closer to a potential deal to integrate the Pantsir S-1M short-range air defense system with the Indian Army's upcoming carrier air defense tract platform with local production by Bharat Dynamics. The Pantsir S-1M has re-emerged as a strong contender offering a 30 km range, 12 missiles, and twin 30mm cannons to counter drones, aircraft helicopters and cruise missiles, delivering a rapid terrain independent boost to the Army's air defense posture. After signing a cooperation MOU on Scorpion-class submarines, India and Brazil are now expanding collaboration to include joint modernization, indigenous systems integration, and future upgrades, that will reduce reliance on French origin systems. India is also advancing a torpedo-launched submarine-launched cruise missile with an estimated 1,000 km range, with a future export variant involving Brazil. India and France signed a Memorandum of Understanding in 2018 to integrate the 110 km range Astra Mark 1 missiles onto the 36 Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. However, despite eight years, there have been no progress, mainly due to slow procedural movement on the French side. In addition to procedural slowdowns, there has also been a lack of clarity from the French side regarding the transfer of source codes for the 114 Rafale jets that Indian Air Force plans to acquire. India and France again signed an agreement in April 2025 to equip the Indian Navy's upcoming 26 Rafale Marine fighters with the Astra Mark 1 missile, but it remains unclear whether the aircraft will be delivered with Astra missile already integrated in 2019, or if the integration will be carried out post-delivery. Given that adversaries have already moved on to far longer range PVR missiles, introducing a 110 km range missile on Rafale Marine by 2029 is definitely not a game changer. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, my God.